What's going on everybody? So today we're going to take a look at Waves Real-Time Auto-Tune. Hey! So you're going to be able to jump right into this plugin and get started right away. <laughs> Alright guys, so this is Waves Auto-Tune right here. So basically, we're going to start by looking at the ranges here, alright? So by default, it's set to generic, and the ranges is basically what of these notes is going to be used, okay? So when you're using this, you're going to notice what range that your vocal is actually in. If it's a guy talking and they have a deeper voice, it's probably going to be in the lower octaves like the baritone and bassy kind of things right here. And if you're female, you're probably going to be in the alto or soprano ranges, okay? So you could leave it in generic and just have everything playing, but you can dial in the auto-tune and make it even better if you go ahead and specify which range that you're going to be in. So go ahead and figure that out. You'll see that when I start playing the vocals that I have here, you'll see what notes my voice is already in. Yo, yo, uh, we use an auto-tune. Man, it should be come. So you can see that. I mean, I'm not even getting anywhere near the top of this. So we could even go down to bass if we wanted to or stick with baritone. All right. So the second thing is you're going to want to make sure that you're in the right scale. Whatever song that your scale's in, you can pick that here. So if you're using major chords, you can go ahead and pick your major scale, uh, your natural, minor, harmonic, and you got all of them, all right? It goes on forever. So you, every scale is covered in here. So we're using a minor right now. We're using an E minor. So, you, so I'm going to go ahead and click the E right here. If you're using some sort of a sharp, you would click on this. Now we can start playing with the speed and the note transition. This is really what's gonna formulate the sound and how the auto tune sounds on your voice. The speed is basically saying, how long does it take for your voice to say the word and then the auto tune to kick in? So right here, that basically, if it's all the way down, that's saying, okay, the auto tune's gonna kick in right away. And if this is up a lot farther, it's gonna wait 800 milliseconds before that auto tune actually comes in. The note transition is basically how long does it transition between each note? Then the lower this is, the more robotic that your voice is gonna be sound sounding. And the higher this is, the more natural it's gonna be. So let's go ahead and listen to this and we can see how this sounds. So right now they're both all the way down, so it's gonna sound fairly robotic and there's gonna be a lot of auto tune happening. Auto tune, man, it should be coming soon. You about to be a master. So you can see as we start to put up the speed, it's actually starting to the auto tune starting to kick in a little bit slower. It's like a little bit of delay between your voice and the auto tune. The auto tune, man, it should be coming soon. You about to be a master after you listen to this dude. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're super duper new and you haven't already. Go to home and eat some spaghetti. So you see that when we turn it up all the way, you can barely notice it because it's basically transitioning at the last second before you start saying the next word. So if you're saying longer phrases or longer words, like you're singing, for instance, instead of rapping, you might want this to be higher. All right, so you also have this vibrato setting right here. And when you turn it on, it basically gives a little vibration into your notes. Um, and you can turn this up even more. Um, a clear cut example of that would be like Post Malone, how he does that sort of effect this is without the auto tune man it should be coming soon turn it up about to be a master if you listen to this dude uh subscribe to the channel if you're super duper new and you haven't already go to home and eat some spaghetti uh so you can definitely tell it like wiggles a little bit as i'm singing it gives it just a little subtle effect so if you want to get some vibrato in there go ahead and play with that all right so you'll notice right here that it's got certain notes with the minus sign on them, and that's the notes it's skipping. That's the notes that are not in the scale. But if there's ever a note that you want to be in the scale, so let's say maybe you want the C sharp to hit, even though it's not in the scale, you can go ahead and click this a couple times, and then it'll actually allow you to play that note now, even though it may not be in the scale. Sometimes you need something like that. Another reason was maybe one of these notes does not sound good. Like maybe I don't like how my voice sounds on the B, even though it is in the scale. So what you can do is just change this so that it won't hit the B anymore, okay? And let's say you change one of these notes and you say, okay, we don't want the B anymore, but instead of it going straight to the C, maybe we want it to go down to the, the A instead. What you could do is you could actually force that. So if you click it again, you'll see that the arrow is pointing to the right now. So that means we're going to force it when it's not playing the B to go to the C. Otherwise, if we click it again, it's going to make it go to the note lower. So it's going to force it to go down to the A anytime we sing to the B. So if you want to dial it in and get really sophisticated, that's how you do it there. Say you don't want to use the B2 chord, but you want to be able to hit the B3. What you can do is turn this group octaves off here, and you can just affect this one without this one being affected. So that's how you would do that there. 
So after you got all your settings in and you're liking how the actual auto-tune sounds on your voice, maybe you're saying, okay, this sounds really great, but it's actually a lot of auto-tune and you don't want as much. You can actually use this right here, and this is pretty much like a dry, wet signal. So you can dial it in to the perfect amount there. The auto-tune, man, this shit be coming soon. You about to be a master after you listen to this dude. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're super duper new and you haven't already go to home and so if you're trying to get like a subtle auto-tune effect you basically just want to turn this down here and use it as a dry wet meter and that's going to allow for how much correction is actually happening all right guys so i'm going to kind of show you how i would do it because i i would want sort of like a subtle effect on my vocal so this is kind of how i would go about that process i would change the note transition and then we play with the correction afterwards so I'll show you how I'm doing that as the vocals are playing. The auto tune, man, this shit be coming soon. You about to be a master after you listen to this dude. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're super duper new and you haven't already. Go to home and eat some spaghetti. Uh, just threw up all over my mom's couch with the spaghetti hanging out my fucking mouth. Damn, was real. Now I'm tripping and I'm lucid dreaming. All right, so you can see there, you can't hear the auto-tune as much, but we get just that subtle effect and everything sounds pretty good, at least to me. So if you're looking for a more drastic effect, once again, you just go ahead and turn that note transition down farther. You dial in the perfect amount there, and then you play with the dry wet knob or the correction amount. All right, guys, this wraps up the tutorial on using Waves real-time auto-tune. Hope you found that useful. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell because we're uploading new tutorials all the time. But anyways, guys, I will talk to you again in the next one. Peace out. Yeah.